What's going on guys, Mark Family Finish Finished Mobile Detailing. Today we're gonna go over how I detail eight cars in a day and tune in to see how I deal with the client that was a no-show and see how we went from there. Make sure to like and subscribe and drop the water drop emojis in the comments and let's get to it guys, let's go. All right Mark, so you have a lot of details today but unfortunately there's one customer, we're not gonna say no names, but she's canceling you three times last minute? Yeah, three times last minute. Um, one time I was there at her job I, what it was an hour before the appointment she just canceled so i was like you know what next time she books every week so next time i was like you know what i'll give her the benefit of doubt then i went there the, the second week just canceled and i'm like man all right so i gave her the benefit down again third time goes around canceled all right guys so let me know how you guys handle that situation um do you guys cut them off or do you guys keep going with them? I, I know she's a like a high profile, the, well this client's like more on like the bigger social media side. So, um, you know, I didn't want to have any conflict, but at the same time we're running a business. So I had to book someone out. She just hit me up right now saying, oh man, I forgot to respond to you. Every, I gave her around two or three days to respond and I just didn't get anything from her. So, you know, at the time we're running a business, so we had to be smart with our time. I don't want to keep booking this person and they keep canceling on me over and over again. And when people are wanting to book with me, I'm already booked up two and a half weeks, almost three weeks. I value my time. I know you guys probably value time as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys handle that situation. Now, Mark, people are gonna ask, get a deposit. Why don't you do that? So this lady, we've been doing it for a while now, but every week. So, you know, it wasn't a big issue, but now it's consistent. So. Next time we book her, we need a deposit. Just because I don't want to waste time. You know, there's times that we'll be there waiting for her for 30 minutes. We have a scheduled time. She doesn't show up until like 40, 50 minutes. We'll be, we'll be waiting outside in the parking lot. So that's a big factor in detailing, wasting a lot of time. Our time is valuable. We're mobile too. So like say for instance, if I'm here, I'm gonna spend another 20 minutes there, there, there. So every minute counts for us detailers that are mobile. When people have shops, it's more easier to do uh, deal with cancellations because it's at the shop. They come to you, but since we're mobile, it's a little, it's a big, actually it's a big factor into detailing how we stay profitable. Yo, Mark, so you have a lot of details today. Now, s scheduling, how does that work, man? Do you give yourself, what, 30 minutes between each detail for the drive, for the stop, or do you try to finish as soon as possible? How do you do it? So how we do it, we have a system, this square, and it gives an idea. So I pre-did everything already, what it comes with, et cetera. Then I, I always uh, time myself for the detail. So, so for this, this takes about like an hour and 30 for this car. So I already have it preset on my phone. So when I do schedule, it just, it schedules an hour and 30. And then, so when I book my next appointment, it's already giving me that time frame. And then it gives me ideally, uh, ideally around 30 minutes for drive time, because we're, we're local. So 30 minutes, then I schedule, 30 minutes and I'll schedule. So the, the system already does it for me, so I don't really have to worry about that. But I always give myself an extra 30 minutes so I can pull up early or late, you know? So actually, technically I won't be late, I'll be on time. So that's a good thing about the schedule. If you have a system designed for you to show up on time, it's, a, Got it's it. a hassle free. So for example, today, the next appointment is at 10.30. Right. We have an hour and maybe an hour to finish, 30 minute drive time. Now we're 15, mats. You think you got it? Yeah, I think I got it for this one. Yeah, yeah, this one's not that bad. All right, guys, if you guys are looking for a blower, I wouldn't spend $400 on a Metro. I wouldn't spend uh, like around four, or, I don't know, three something on that, uh, the blow gun, the little one with the tube. I spent about like, what, like 80 bucks on this one. This one's like really, really strong and it gets the job done. So 80 bucks, it's almost comparable. I think this is a little stronger. Um, but yeah, so what I do, if a car's not as protected, I'll hit all the cracks and crevices with this and come through with a drying towel and dry it up and a detail spray. So you don't have to waste a lot of time standing here trying to blow all the water when it's not really doing anything. So that's another tip for you guys. But I'd like to let you know that all my chemicals are gonna be linked on the uh, description below. It doesn't cost anything extra, but it just helps support the channel. Thanks guys. Now Mark, you know, you, you book a lot of details in one day. Does little techniques like that like the blower helping you with the cracks, save you a lot of time or is it just preference? Um, it saves a lot of time so it gets rid of the drip marks. If it keeps consistently dripping, dripping, especially in a black car, 
you get the drip marks, it's gonna be highlighted. So try to get as much moisture out of the vehicle and then do the inside, everything, get, get it all dialed in, come after and spray it down with some detailing spray, wipe it down. And you, you avoid all the streaks or drip marks from the vehicle. So it's kind of important to be on it from the get go so you can finish on time, right? Yeah. Dang. Has there ever been a situation where you're like, man, I have to spend an extra 10 minutes on this and that? Yeah, sometimes like there's days like in the summertime, you probably get away with like just drying it off because it's so hot outside. But um, right now it's pretty cold. So a lot of moisture takes a long time to dry when it's cold. So that's where it comes into play, the blower. But I prefer to blow the vehicles out. At first I was a big person on just the dry towels and then hit everything up at the late at the at the end. But might as well just get the water out as much as you can and then go from there. And then also the good thing about the drying towel, there's spots I like a little spots here and there I sort of missed. Um, what, what, what would happen, the, the towel kind of corrects it and it comes through with the detailing spray and knock it out for you to get a perfect uh, shine and also a perfect finish as well. All right, Mark, you're doing great time. We're gonna finish on time. But what do you do in situations where you have a fully booked day and something happens? Ooh. A machine messes up. A customer's asking you to fix this and that. What do you do, man? So I'm gonna go through the whole car with the client, make sure they like it. And so we avoid that issue. The second thing, if something messes up, it's out of our hands. So then we'll, I think we, uh, we went about it on one video. We had to just, you know, just roll the punches, get stuff fixed. There's other alternatives where you could get like a pressure washer or something right now. Meantime, or you carry another tool with you. But I have, like, I used to have a little Ryobi pressure washer and it didn't, it took forever to just rinse down the car. So I'd rather get something fixed now and then come back later or schedule them for another time. But if you can fit them in, that's cool. If not, remember, you gotta focus on, this is the heart of the business. So you gotta take care of it. So do what you gotta do with this and go from there. But other than that, if I run behind on time or something like that, I'll have to notify the client either like 30 minutes or an hour in time. And hey, you know, this is happening. Sometimes they're cool with it. Sometimes they still want you to come. So depending on your client. Have you ever had a client be like, hey, you're done with the detail. Can you squeeze in my wife's car real quick? Yeah, and it's like I think we talked about this before. It's never real quick. Um, anything like you don't like the outside might look immaculate, but you don't know how to take care of the inside. So, for instance, you do the outside, you look in the inside. There's pet hair, dog hair, or syrup, trash, coffee, everything. And it's like damn. Then you look at the time, like damn. I knew I shouldn't have took it. I knew I shouldn't have took it. Falling behind. Now you're stressed out. And all. then you have to balance between quality or like quantity. You're like, what I gotta do? And then from those situations. You might mess up or you might get a bad review, mad, bad reputation. So I would suggest if they say that, like, hey, you know what? Let me finish my details real quick and I'll come back. If I have time, if not, we'll schedule another day that I'll keep you posted on my phone. And then at the end of the day, if you do have time, come back. If not, schedule another day. Don't don't break your back for something like that. Um, yeah, I, I see people all the time. They, they want to break their back, make, make a quick buck all the time. Just keep going, like keep going and trying to make that money. But at the same time, you know, is it really worth it ruining the reputation or ruining like the quality of work? Maybe like if you do a crappy job per se, the the client's not gonna be like, I don't want him back, you know? So I would say just schedule for later. So today we're wrapping up the video of how I deal with eight cars in a day and um, how I show up on time. So if you guys never showed up on time in a client, make sure to drop it down below. And thank you guys for tuning in for the channel. I appreciate it guys, thank you.